Uh, my career in implant dentistry is like many of yours. It's always related to the concept of osseointegration. And the definition really hasn't changed since uh, Albrechtson uh, laid it out in uh, the early 80s, or uh, Max Lisgarten came up with these histologic slides in the early uh, 90s showing the direct contact of bone to uh, implant. And our challenge initially was how do we achieve that? Uh, there was some magic to it early in the early days, but now we know much more about it. And I want to sort of open with this very short video uh, that illustrates a little bit about what we know. Our bones are a marvel of natural design, continuously rejuvenating through a finely balanced equilibrium of bone resorption and new bone formation. A truly miraculous structure is formed which follows the lines of mechanical load, the trabecular bone. Sometimes, however, the unexpected happens. A drill intrudes and destroys the naturally sculpted bone. Blood vessels are torn and a major defect is created, quickly filling with blood. The titanium implant is inserted where the tooth was previously lost. At first, the only force holding the implant in place is mechanical friction. This is called primary implant stability. Osseointegration, or secondary implant stability, requires a highly complex sequence of additional biodynamic processes. This is facilitated by finely tuned communication between the main actors of wound healing, the cells. So this is a 15 minute video and I don't have time to show that. Uh, but it is really outlined very well in this publication uh, by uh, Terhydrin Lang and uh, Birbaum. Uh, it's also a quintessence video that's been around for about seven or eight years. And it's an excellent review of the biological process of osseointegration. 